friends, today I want to share with you how to make a sketch for digital illustrations in Photoshop, at least the Momo way. Welcome back to my art channel Momo Hoskin, or if you are new, hey, my name is Momo and I draw. This will be a series of videos in which I give an in-depth tutorial about how to create digital portraits in Photoshop. So first things first, friends. A little disclaimer, I'm drawing an anthropomorphic wolf, but what I explain applies to almost every other portrait too. No matter if you are drawing your family members, a friend's pet or a celebrity. I explain my approach on it and that doesn't mean there are no other legit methods of creating an illustration. It all depends on personal preference of aesthetics and workflow. But here we go. I first started with a circle that will resemble the base of the head. Into it I add a cross to determine the direction the character is looking at. In this case almost straight to the viewer. The reason I usually make my character portraits making eye contact with the viewer is that it's making an offer for interaction. On the flip side though, I just have read that a character looking straight to the viewer isn't a good choice because a character looking away from us in another direction adds more to the story an image tells and drags more attention to what the character is actually doing. I definitely want to learn more about this topic. If you have any recommendations for literature or books or links for advice available online, please share them in the comments below. For this portrait, I have a general idea in mind. This will be a friendly wolf girl with headphones. Quite simple, but effective, I think. Um, this fits the character's personality that I got from the reference. Because this is a portrait for someone else, I have the character's reference up at my other monitor at all the time. I also search Google images of wolves and have the results open. I personally prefer not to look at one specific reference image and straight up copying it, but look at several images and get an overall feel for the species. I do recommend copying photos for practice reasons though, and build up your visual library. The headphones I draw are loosely based off ones I have around. I think real life references are the best and I'm glad I could use them this time. My first and most important advice is use references. You don't need to draw everything perfectly from imagination or memory. Using references is not only okay, it's a must if you want to provide quality art. During this sketch I was facing some trouble getting the face right. Sometimes it just works fine, but this time I could just make it look right and something fell off without me being able to find out what it is. What helps me with that kind of problem is zooming out or a step away from the image to look at it at a smaller scale. This way you can find mistakes and proportions more easily because your eye is not as much distracted by all the details. It also helps to flip the image. Especially after you were looking at a drawing for a while, you won't be able to find mistakes because you kinda got blind to them. Mirroring an image will help you seeing those with fresh eyes. Um, I even made a copy of my sketch uh, sometime because I was afraid of ruining it by trying to fix it. But I guess I'm just uh, choosing the safe path here. <laughs> Actually, I would recommend these two things, checking the thumbnail and checking the flipped image. Not only if you're facing problems. Sometimes an image just looks fine to you and me and once I flip it, boom. <laughs> it saved me so many times, really. It is important to check those things multiple times during a sketch phase, um, to check what you've done frequently and um, also fix your fixing. <laughs> Um, it will be much harder to find and fix problems and things um, the more you have worked on an image. Um, what I like especially about digital art is um, that especially Photoshop offers many options for correcting lines you have already made by deforming and distorting them. 
While that is also possible with traditional media, media by erasing and redrawing parts, the digital tools offer a great benefit to my time management as correction is uh, much faster. But even though, I still couldn't get the expression right, so I figured I will give it another try and change it completely to something less symmetrical. This way, it not only looks more interesting, it's also not as difficult uh, to make an interesting um, expression. And I messed up my script here. Um, this way, it's not only looking more interesting, but it's also a little easier to draw as the eye does not find symmetry, symmetry problems as easily. A uh, little artist hack here. <laughs> I moved up one corner of the mouth really high, giving the character a more cheeky smile. That feels still compatible with the character's personality. I enhanced that expression by lifting up the bottom eyelids. One does not only find uh, one does not only smile with the mouth, right? I went a little farther by changing the eyebrows and opening the mouth a little. This way I can uh, add a little more detail with showing the teeth. The headphones that aren't placed right in the middle also work well with that. It doesn't look as stiff, in my opinion. I always recommend to play with expressions. 9 times out of 10 a slightly exaggerated expression works better than a totally blunt one. I'm sure you all agree that the result of changing the expression here works much better than the original expression I was going for. Um, leave your opinion up in the poll that appears at the corner at this moment or some time. Um, after I'm finally happy enough with the expression, I add the character's hairstyle on a different layer. This way I can draw over my sketch without editing that itself. I find it difficult to draw hair, so I can better play safe. I created a new layer on top of my sketch layer and reduced the sketch's opacity, so I can identify what I drew on the new layer more easily. I determine the general shape and size of the hair and add more and more details until I'm satisfied enough. Um, but in all honesty, I'm not too happy with the result of the sketch. I mean, it's not bad, but mm, something still feels off. Um, but today I think I wanted to share that struggles are a part of life. Um, also a little spoiler, I managed to fix it and you will see that in my next video. Mm -hmm. um, but I will give you a brief summary of my tips I have for you to create a good sketch. First of all, use references. Even better if you're using multiple references for the same thing. Zoom out and check the proportions. Flip the image, checking the image with fresh eyes. You can also step away for a few minutes, taking a break, do something else, take a shower or walk and return to the image later. And exaggerate expressions, they add a lot more interest to the character. I would not recommend these, though for realistic portraits, of course. Always stick to the reference if you're drawing realistic, please. And last but not least, take your time. Sketches usually do not take that long and it's even more important to give yourself time to get things done right. They are the base of your drawing and just like with building a house, the better the fundamentals, the better is the result. If possible, when done with a sketch, leave the drawing overnight and look at it the next day. I promise you will find something you want to fix. And this is all I have to say about today, I think, and if you have any questions, just ask me in the comments below. I will gladly answer them and I'm happy if I can help you. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know. Don't forget in the, to vote in the poll at the top right corner and to comment if you have anything to say about whether or not a character should look in the viewer's direction. Also subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of my art videos every week. A subscription is absolutely free but makes Momo happy. 
have a good day and stay creative friends bye